Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm working on the Snapper LT200 again. The issue I'm having with it today is that it won't go forward or in reverse. I'm going to show you how I go about diagnosing this problem and how I'll repair it. First of all, I have to disclose this is a problem I may have caused. I was working on this tractor the other day. I had it up on ramps and I had this lever pulled out so the tractor could roll. That wasn't an issue. The tractor was up on ramps and when I lowered it, removed the ramps, got on the tractor, started it up. I went to go forward, but I forgot to push the lever in. Well, I pushed the lever in like normal and nothing happened. And I pulled it out, pulled it in. Now I could feel this I don't know if you can hear the clunk, but when I pull it out and push it in, it is connecting on something, but the tractor won't move. And the reason I say I may have caused this problem, because you can see it right here. First you stop the engine and pull it out, or you stop the engine and push it in. I had the engine running and I pushed it in. I've done this before, I've done it with other tractors. This is what happens when you don't read the instructions. Besides being right here, they're also right here in the manual. Anyway, before I take this fender and foot plate off, I'm going to jack the tractor up by the back end, maybe remove the wheel to see if I can get to that transmission and the linkage in there. Hopefully it's something external and I didn't mess the inside of the transmission up. I'm going off camera now. And once I have it set up, I'll show you how I'm getting this tractor elevated. I usually do something like this under one of the bigger trees that I have, but I have to push this mower across the lawn and it was easier to pull the ladders out. I have this little giant ladder with a cross member this way, this two by six going across the top. This ladder, I'm not too sure of. This is, this is a little sketchy here. But I have this member going across where this 2x6 can rest on it. I have this uh, ratchet strap. This is a broken ratchet strap. I'm using it just to connect the come along. You don't want to wrap the cable to come along around where you get a kink in it. I have this uh, shackle on the rear end of the tractor and the come along attached to that. That's how I got it into the ear. Now, I'm gonna check out these controls in here. It looks like I'm gonna to have to pull off this tire. And once I do, I'm hoping I find something that just got disconnected over here. And like I said, it's not something internal with the transmission. When they tell you to do it this way, it must be for a reason. And like I said, um, I've always done it with the engine running on all the machines I had, never had an issue. But it only takes one time. So I'm gonna get this tire off see what I could find out under here and if I can't see anything I'm gonna have to um, pull this fender off with the seat and that's a job also on this gas tank which I just filled when this happened <laughs> so hopefully I can find what I need under here and once I do I'll be back either way to show you all right I'm under the tractor right now here's the transmission here's the lever that's going to the pedal that comes to the transmission. John, push it down. The tiny one? The big one. Okay. Okay, this is going forward. And I can feel back here. Okay, let it up, John. Okay. Okay. Do it again. That's connected. And this is connected to a pin. I'll see if I can get a shot of that. Let go, John. Now do the small one. all the way down okay that's reverse let it up okay the reverse is moving also now the problem was it wasn't going forward or reverse i want to get out from under the distractor here so if it rolls okay oh wait a minute do i press it wait a minute john john hold on yeah it looks like it's the belt Is it possible that it was the belt all this time? 
Well, if it's the belt. Oh, thanks, shot. You know what? It's this belt. I wonder if the belt came off altogether. Is it too small? No, this is the drive belt, yeah. Now, this belt is definitely worn out, and it's off the pulley. I want to see if I could get this back on the pulley and if it'll work at that point. All right, I'm going to put that belt on to see if we get movement with this tractor. It may, it may have just come off because of the way I had I had to let that plane pass. I'm going to get that belt back on the pulley and hopefully that's all it was and I have to replace the belt. And this is just a tip. Putting your wheel back on, you want to clean off the rust. On one side of this was really rusty. Clean off the rust, put a little never seize on it if you have it. If not, at least some grease, something to help prevent it from rusting again. And do not forget this pin. If you don't put this pin in, no matter what you do, your tractor will not move. Now, as far as the repair on this, I was fortunate enough to find out that it was just the belt that slipped off. Why it slipped off, I don't know. I do need a new belt on it though. And originally I thought it might have been the belt. And I did check it before I started all this. But when I checked it, the belt was there. What I didn't see, and you really can't see it just from looking straight under, is that the belt came off on the engine side of the tractor. And because you have that clutch over there, I wasn't able to see that. That's why I just thought it was this transmission and the fact that I pulled this in and out when uh, the engine was running. So, so now, I have to put this wheel back on, I have to get that belt back on and that's a job. I have to drop the deck, drop the clutch, get the belt on. I bought a new belt for this and I hope it fits because I bought two belts from uh, Briggs & Stratton. The first one, I did a video before, it's up there, where they sent me the wrong belt. They said it was the right one. I thought it was too tight. I put it on and shredded right up. And before I drop that clutch, I'm gonna make sure that I have the right belt. If not, I'll cut this one off, measure it, run out, pick up a belt, then uh, come back and put it on. So that's a wrap. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, give it a like, it does help and pass it along to someone else who may be able to find it useful. And again, like I said, that belt was on. I just couldn't see, this isn't gonna pick it up. Up front over there, because of that clutch, I couldn't tell that the belt was off the top pulley. Well, that's it. Oh, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Hit that Joe Z button, and at the end of the video, be sure to hit that bell icon, not to miss my new videos as I upload them. And until next time, keep rolling and stay safe.